So on this example, ladies and gentlemen, when you are provided a right triangle, all right, and we're provided an angle and a side length, the best thing I can at least offer to you is at least let's label all the sides according to this angle. Regardless of where the angle is, the hypotenuse is the easiest to identify. It's directly across from your right angle. Hypotenuse. Now, the next definition we talked about is the adjacent side compared to the opposite side. So Camilla, do you remember how to find the adjacent side? OK, so let me re-say it. So if you need to write it down, Camilla, you can. The adjacent side connects your angle and the right angle. So therefore, you can see that the side between the angle that is provided and the right angle is your adjacent side. Then the other side, which is directly opposite of your angle, is what we call the opposite side. Now, we're given a right triangle with um, an angle and an opposite and an adjacent side, and we're trying to find the value of that side. So to do that, we're going to want to use um, our right triangle trigonometry. right? If we knew this was a 45, 45, 90 triangle or a 30, 60, 90, we could use special right triangles. But this is not because we have an angle of 52 degrees. So therefore, we need to remember our three trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, these are all of an angle, which I'll use theta as my angle. And remember, the sine function of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of an angle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent. So now I look at each one of those three functions and I say, all right, well, which side lengths do I have? I am provided with the value of opposite, which I'm trying to find. And I'm provided with the actual angle of adjacent. So I don't have anything with hypotenuse. We're not trying to figure out what the hypotenuse is, and I'm not provided the hypotenuse. Right, Camillo? So therefore, any, th any trigonometric function with hypotenuse, I'm not going to use. So I'm only going to use the tangent function. Now, do I know the angle of the tangent that I'm going to use? 52 degrees. Do I know the opposite side? x. Do I know the adjacent side? 13. So I can say the tangent of my angle, 52 degrees, is equal to x over 13. Now I just need to solve for x. So I need to get to 13 off the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll multiply 13 on both sides. And therefore, x equals 13 times the tangent of 52 degrees. So I need to go into my calculator. Don't you guys, somebody stole my calculator again, but I'll go and grab it. So now I go ahead and plug into my calculator the tangent. Now make sure your calculator is in degree mode. If you don't know, make sure you let me know and I'll help you out with that. And then I just type in tangent, or 13 times, the tangent of 52. And I get 16.639, so I'll reduce to uh, round to the hundredth. X equals 16.64. And there we go. Oh, 16.